Okay, you are live. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to one on session uh, sponsored by coaches. And today uh, I'm going to, uh, well, I don't know if uh, coach or uh, analyze uh, with uh, Arjun Erigaisi, who is a very strong player. And uh, I'm happy to have him uh, in this session as uh, uh, we, uh, I mean, it's a minor detail, but we both speak uh, Telugu and uh, 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 we are from. Uh, uh, I mean, close by. So I'm very happy to have him. And uh, he, we we are going to analyze uh, a very, very interesting game, which uh, Arjun played uh, in 2020 Aeroflot Open, right? Aeroflot yeah. Open. Um, so uh, I am just waiting to see these crazy sacrifices. <laughs> I, I have already gone through this uh, game. Uh, and uh, before we start into the game, um, Arjun can say something if he wishes to. So, hello, my pleasure being here. Yeah, they don't uh, mistake uh, by uh, Arjun speaks less, but uh, you know when you when we start to analyze this game, uh, he's going to you know show all his uh, tricks. So, um, did you prepare for uh, this game uh, when you played, or uh, you just? knew your stuff and uh, you you went for this variation uh, i was mainly expecting the king's indian defense um, him, but it was sort of a surprise that he surprise played. for you okay uh, 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 the uh, important question was okay like uh, i guess uh, you can start with uh, uh, just a minute uh, yeah so uh, d4 or c4 but usually you go for c4 knight f3 to have some flexibility i guess yeah. uh, because i i i was I, when i started to play uh, you know for, uh, long back i started always with c4 uh, knight c3 g3 and this setup uh, so of course uh, c4 g6 arjun was expecting his opponent to go for uh, the king's indian defense um and uh, i guess this is probably the first new move first new move for you here and um, g3 uh, bishop g7 this is all uh, pretty normal uh, probably knight c6 uh, could be um, well not the right way but to uh, if knight f3 he can, he has the option to, e6, yeah, and... e6 or e5 uh, however he likes but knight f6 uh, knight f3 uh, knight c6 uh, and here uh, of course short castle black will play uh, d5 therefore um, um, he played uh, Arjun played d4 uh, so uh, did you prepare this variation or you just played over the board because uh, this uh, I don't know if you uh, know all the details in this, this particular yeah I knew this setup before I have played a couple of games mm -hmm. uh, but the cd4 knight d4 h5 came as a self yeah yeah so th that's where uh, we are getting uh, knight d4 h5 so uh, usually uh, black uh, goes for uh, short castle short castle uh, now uh, queen a5 or d6 sorry oh, here queen a5 or d6 these moves I mean. yeah exactly so uh, how do i draw that yeah d6 or knight d4 or queen a5 and uh, the main moves, a lot of games uh, have been played. I myself had uh, a couple of games from both both white and black side. Um, so, but his opponent uh, went for uh, rare line h5. So I guess this is, uh, let's say, the biggest surprise in this game for you. Yeah, I can say so. Yeah, so h5 and uh, you played the h3 here. Uh, did you play instantly or you uh, you had to? Think about. I think I took around five minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because castle is not something you want to play here uh, as just h4. It felt a bit risky. Yeah. So h3 uh, seems uh, logical as uh, after h4, I guess, uh, g4, it's not uh, difficult. Um, so h5, h3, and uh, knight takes uh, d4, queen takes d4, and uh, here d6. Uh, surprisingly, when uh, I uh, I was seeing this game, uh, Arjun's uh, opponent already had a game, uh, and uh, he played another game after uh, Arjun's game. So it seems like he really likes this setup to include h5 and uh, h3. Um, so uh, queen d4, um, b, uh, d6, 
uh, b3 uh, so still since uh, the bishop on g7 is not protected he can't uh, move the knight from f6 so i guess you want to get bishop to b2 and uh, develop as soon as and possible yeah so short castle and uh, bishop b2 uh, bishop e6 and uh, here uh, did uh, what what was uh, your like uh, were you thinking of queen d2 or just to play solid or you thought okay he gave the pawn so let me take it uh, initially i wanted to play queen d2 but the, i think the problem was either queen d7 or queen c8 queen d7 and uh, short castle is not possible because of uh, bishop h3 and, and uh, uh, yeah yeah and uh, so it you felt that it's not easy to uh, you know ca ca castle uh, yeah okay so uh, so you took uh, the pawn uh, i mean obviously you probably calculated the following line which we are going to see in the game um but uh, yeah that's a valid point uh, bishop takes b7 uh, rook b8 bishop g2 um uh, queen a5 i guess was his uh, idea otherwise the uh, black is simply uh, pawn down and uh, short castle uh, knight d5 so i guess you you have seen this uh, the the whole sequence or i don't know until when you have calculated when you decided to capture the pawn on b7 or if you have seen this even before bishop b7 uh i i have seen this when he played bishop e6 okay so i calculated that i i'm getting a couple of pieces and two points for the queen and probably bishop so yeah that's uh, that's that that's should be enough yeah it, it, this is very very uh, uh, very good and uh, a fine point to learn that you do, you can't see until the end uh, where you are winning or uh, to uh, to get uh, to you are winning a lot of material but uh, uh, absolutely right uh, white is getting uh, two pawns plus uh, two bishop pair and most likely it will be like uh, uh, two rooks, two bishops against uh, uh, queen, two rooks. But uh, of course, white uh, does have uh, two pawns. So that is uh, the main point of uh, Arjun in this game. I think it's uh, very interesting. And uh, uh, even with the pawn on b7, sometimes this is quite interesting. But uh, of course, uh, white captured the pawn on b7 already. Um, so knight takes d5. Uh, I, I think very interesting uh, move. Um, of course, uh, you you could have uh, taken uh, Queen uh, G7, right? Or you you, it's yeah. But I thought direct knight D5 was like an advanced version of the same. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because some sometimes the Bishop C4, to... Bishop C4 can happen, right? So therefore, Knight D5 is uh, correct. Bishop D4. What else? Uh, knight. Uh, e7 check, king h7, and uh, b you played bishop d4 here, right? And uh, could you play um, knight c6 and knight d4 knight or? Knight c6, I probably wasn't sure because of queen d2 or bishop b2. Queen d2, yes. Uh -huh. uh, queen d2, bishop d4. Rook c8, maybe. Rook c8, right. Yeah. Eat the bishop h2. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, yes. And uh, yeah, he, black is getting uh, counter mm -hmm. chances, and uh, there is no way to trick uh, this queen, right? It's uh, yeah. He do it. Uh, yeah. He, he always uh, queen is escaping. Okay. So therefore, uh, just bishop d4. And now, uh, I guess this is the position which uh, you had in mind uh, before taking bishop b7. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, to me, I like white's position because uh, uh, even in the worst case, uh, you will always uh, have some uh, fortress kind of position if everything goes wrong i i guess that's how uh, that's what you also felt when you went yeah. this, right that's pretty much what i felt that is why yeah I went 
yeah because uh, and uh, black needs to be quite careful about uh, this checks and you know if if uh, black loses one more pawn then uh, white is you know with this bishop on d4 and g2 it's a really great position um so your opponent played uh, queen c7 uh, is uh, i mean i i it's it's a perfectly logical move but then uh, he is also giving uh, uh this bishop on e6 after knight d5 which happened in the game um could could he uh play something else like can he play rook b e8 because after knight d5 bishop d5 uh rook yeah, but e8. now i guess i can go knight c6 and win the a7 knight c6 and uh right uh so queen uh it doesn't matter queen d2 just bishop a7 and uh, you win the pawn and then probably yeah. some a4 a5 yeah. yeah okay so queen c7 uh and now uh knight d5 uh, so i guess bishop d5 is pretty much uh yeah otherwise knight on f6 too. yeah knight f6 and uh, at some point maybe f4 g4 mm -hmm. g5 kind of tricks can happen so bishop d5 um and cd5 is not so great right because uh, black has the uh, c uh, c uh, open file uh, yeah, c open file uh, otherwise if uh, if white rooks can somehow uh, mm. come to c6 e3 and i mean that's really nice position but probably white is not going to achieve it after um something like rook fc8 and uh, yeah white white rooks can't really come to c6 um so anyway bishop d5 is very logical too uh, so this is a wonderful position uh, i really like uh, the fact that these bishops on d5 and d4 are like monsters um so uh, i guess you are happy with the position which you got but uh, did you plan uh, some idea like uh, let's say um you want to play g4 open this side or e3 or just to wait and see what your opponent will do i just wanted to play e3 and thought my position would be completely yeah. safe yeah yeah um i, I mean uh, like uh, obviously uh, e3 uh, is nice so your bishops are controlling all the squares here i mean and uh, um black can't really sacrifice an exchange in this position as he's already two pawns down and i don't see where uh, he can create counter chances that's uh, probably a5 a4 his uh, is his uh, only way so uh, to um, to activate the rooks so what do you want to play oh, that might help white as well right? like a5 a4 look fb1 it might create a yeah yeah no i will not give you the chance to get rook b7 but uh, uh, like let's say it uh, it's um, white to play black to play okay so something like i need to wait i, I really need to wait i can't really uh, give you the chance to have rook fb1 or rook b5 later on so then uh, white is just winning um, but uh, actually i'm not sure if black can really achieve even if after a takes b3 a takes b3 because rook a7 will come so it's not really helping black so i i i was searching uh, for some active plan but uh, i couldn't really find but your opponent played h4 um i don't know if it is good or bad um but i guess uh, he didn't have uh, much of a choice uh, probably he didn't want to just uh sit and watch you know like uh, you just yeah, get he yeah. didn't want me to play h4 aha uh -huh, yeah that that's uh, okay so uh, your idea is to just play h4 uh, e3 and uh, at some point push the pawns yeah so h4 uh, and uh, bishop f6 so uh, uh, could you play something else or you just thought okay let me have bishop on f6 control uh, queen e7 um, stop f5 and so on i think my first intuition was to go for g4 yeah that's uh, that's something which i also but wanted to probably have. i was not sure after f5 g5 look e8 look e5 something like that uh rook e4 or rook e5 look uh, e5 aha uh -huh. 
Interesting. Yeah. Now um, Black wants to play f4 and uh, or maybe maybe queen e7 uh, is possible. Yeah, queen e7 is good because after f4 rook takes e3. Um, it still looks good to me. I'm just I I don't see the uh, I don't see a clear way how to stop f4. Uh, however, here after f5. Uh, um, can you play something like, um, you know, king h2, rook g1, or it's too much? It's maybe too much, yeah? Yeah, I think I considered only g5, but yeah, king h2 also looks interesting. Uh, because anyway, the, no, this, this is just bad I because uh, rook f4, no, it, this cannot work. g5 should be the move, and then, uh, of course, uh, but also queen e7 maybe is possible, yeah, because f4, maybe. f4, because after queen e2, rook b1 and uh, rook e7, yeah, yeah. Uh, and rook e8. Uh, you can't really give the pawn now because rook f8 will come. Yes. Yeah. So e3 you is nice and rook e5. Directly go f4 instead of rook e5. How is that? You mean here? Uh -huh. yeah. And uh, it's a little bit strange, but what happens after e4? Mm. So queen e7 or queen d7, I don't know which one. Yeah, but white is getting king h2, rook g1. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so queen e7, I go king h2. Um, okay, it doesn't matter f3 or queen g5. I, I'm, I'm going to play rook g1 uh, anyways. Um, I do not know if I'm, uh, you know, making some progress here because let's say f3, uh, rook g1, uh, rook f4. I'm going to play rook b1. Okay, I, I defend uh, the g5 pawn, uh, e4 pawn, but I also don't see how I'm uh, going to progress here. But okay, it's not my my headache because I am going to play b4, no. b5, and so on. So uh, as long as these bishops are uh, on uh, d5, d4, it should be pretty good. Um, so I don't know if uh, this is a, a possibility. Um, but maybe rook e5, uh, what you suggested is uh, is maybe good, so you can rook take rook d5. But white can go f4. Right? You mean after this? Aha, uh -huh, yes. Yeah, f4. Yeah, at first I thought queen b7, rook d5, cd5, queen b7, but there is rook c1. Rook c1, yeah. So this is what uh, Arjun means. Um, probably. Uh, maybe rook c8. I mean, still, uh, it's not so clear um, because uh, rook c4 looks nice, but the point is, I can, why black can take on c4, queen b4, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure if, uh, you know, can push the pawn. Um, but maybe here, um, um, yeah, this is maybe the best defense here, huh? Um, uh, but uh, hold on, uh, if I play, yeah, rookie five uh, should be uh, should be the way because after f four, um, not not clear. Uh, if this is winning for white. Yeah, I guess black wants to play king g8, king f7. And yes, the... yes, yes, yes. Um, so something like, no, then queen h1 comes. Okay. Because of, oh, at no. some point, uh, black can take on c1, uh, rook takes c1. So let's say I, I go, uh, I'm not sure where to put the king because king f2, um, this is not possible because of Okay, let me show for the viewers. So rook c7 is fine, but rook c8 uh, and uh, black can't stop the threat of rook h8. So therefore, uh, black should start with king uh, king g8. Um, 
I would prefer this pawn not on h3, but uh, yeah, I don't know how to uh, proceed. So let's say I make some moves and uh, yeah, this is not not so clear because after um, I get yeah, yeah, something like queen h1 will come and black will have counter. If the king is on g1, then queen f3 and uh, some counter chances will appear. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, probably this is a good decision then uh, to play bishop uh, f6 here. Um, any other move is possible for white here? Um, okay, f3 looks really bad. How is e3? Which one? e3. e3. Uh, uh huh. Okay. So the idea is after f takes g4, h takes g4, queen d7, just f3, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, black really can't <laughs> uh, double on the f file because, uh, you know, all these squares are controlled. Um, that's a nice point. And uh, he can't really do much about uh, the pawn on e3 as well. So what's the next i mean what is the uh, white's idea just to like king g2 rook h1 rook h3 or is like let's say i go rook b e8 uh oh, of course you can go rook uh, e1 e2 h2 is one one idea probably um, maybe at some point push b4 b5 b4 b5 um so b4 b5 uh, i thought uh, let's say i will no not there i mean let's try rook e7 i want to go rook f8 and take on uh, e3 oh, b5 but, stops rook f8 right? yeah i have to give the exchange i cannot uh, hold on to the exchange b5 i have to do something like i don't know this doesn't thread that's the problem so rook f8 Bishop c6 and uh, yeah, queen c7. I I don't know if you want to take this or not. Yeah, no, even d5 is a possibility. Yeah, so d5 is an option. Okay, d5 here is fine because you have f4 and then c5. So like, uh, yeah, this this is this is good. This is uh, good mm. for uh, maybe. <laughs> Because still you there is queen d7. It's messy, but uh, it's probably good, good, uh, uh, easy for white to play uh, than uh, black. Uh, so here a uh, lot of interesting uh, options and uh, just how nicely these bishops are controlling uh, the whole, uh, you know, files. Um, so yeah, I think uh, bishop f6 is. Uh, practical and of course to to stop uh, any counter chances of the five also also i do this no, sorry yeah also i thought at some point i can go look at for look at yeah i was yeah i was just about to say that yeah rook f4 rook h4 uh, is nice and uh, your opponent played hg3 okay what else uh, could he do f takes g3 so now your idea obviously is rook f4 and uh, rook h4 rook h8 checkmate um uh queen b6 check uh king g2 queen e3 so he's trying to create some counter chances yeah so rook f2 and uh, uh here rook f4 doesn't work we need you take right yeah i think black can take and G5 now? G5. I have to take uh, Bishop G5, right? Yeah. I still have no idea who, <laughs> if I'm, uh, yeah, probably F5, uh, F5 or something. Followed by King G5. Yeah, King G, uh, King G. F five followed by King G. Yeah, F five and then King G six. Yes, yes. Uh, because White doesn't have Rook E one uh, or something like that. Yeah, fair enough. Also, you don't have to rush uh, because, uh, as we can see, that these bishops are stopping all the activities of these rooks, Rook on B eight and F eight. 
uh, and he went for g5 probably it was necessary i mean to me this looks like completely lost for black uh, i don't know how you feel yeah i also it. felt i should be clearly on top yeah so g5 and g4 so this is a nice move so um you calculated already that uh, you know you get the rook to f1 rook to f5 and so on or you just wanted to stop g4 option for uh, for black uh, i thought if i play g4 then the rook on f5 will be very stable ah okay yeah no I, no just asking like why uh, didn't you start with rook f rook a1 probably it doesn't matter because probably i wanted to keep the option of playing rook d1 aha uh -huh. okay so that's that's the idea of, uh, okay so g4 and the king g6 um i guess it's more of a desperate attempt because uh, i mean it can be checkmated on g6 yeah and uh, uh, he probably wants queen f2 for the back uh, what did you want uh, i think if the d1 black wants queen f2 and king f2 okay so uh, if rook d1 queen f2 king f2 king f6 so this was uh, black's idea um, okay. still probably yeah this still should be better, better but uh, he, he he is getting you know out of uh, the whole <laughs> bind mm -hmm. so rook f1 uh, that's uh, nice nice uh, keeping you know keeping the black's position not able to move even a bit and then he played rook a8 uh, is there any threat rook e6 is probably a threat right or mm -hmm. is it a threat yeah rook e6 maybe rook e6 yeah at least uh, you know if he kept if he eliminates one bishop uh, the chances of getting mate uh, reduces considerably mm -hmm. in this position so uh, rook e6 should be his point so rook f5 and uh, i guess now you probably calculated pretty much all this rook g5 bishop f7 i i mean bishop g5 and uh, after queen g5 bishop f7 was your point probably to rook f7 rook g5 so i'm i'm just going to show uh, what was the idea if let's say black uh, makes such a move uh, not rook g5 is not the point but bishop f7 check Uh, rook f7 rook g5 king g5 and rook f7 uh, too many pawns here uh, so that's the uh, probably one of the ideas uh, and uh, therefore okay queen e2 uh, rook f2 obvious rook 1 f2 that uh, that was the idea and uh, once again there are no checks uh, e4 g4 everything is protected so queen e3 um, white uh, white i mean since white was threatening rook g5 uh, he needs to have the queen on e3 and uh, here bishop g5 uh, could you improve further or this is already winning like uh, yeah, i would like any... to how do you evaluate rook g5 yeah th that's uh, that's what i was uh, wondering because queen g5 uh, bishop g5 king g5 and i guess uh, bishop f7 right yeah. so now obviously if uh, if uh, white manages to um, get something like rook f3 king g3 h4 and so on it should be winning um, but i guess uh, it's not going to be so easy because uh, he um, black will probably play rook e5 or rook e7 one of these moves mm -hmm. um, so let's start with uh, rook e7 i guess you are going here this is good because you have rook f5 king h6 g5 king g7 and g g6 and okay if you keep the rook uh, it should be uh, winning slowly it takes some time but uh, you should be winning i mean rook e2 and i would say in a practical game to keep uh you know king g3 and push h5 h4 h5 because you will say but also maybe this is uh, this is possible here yeah keep in uh, it's unclear but i would say that uh, rook e5 uh, is maybe uh, the critical one because i am not allowing you to get uh, rook f5 mm -hmm. and uh, the idea is after bishop let's say bishop d5 uh, rook takes f2 king takes f2 and king h4 
and uh, yeah this is something which i i am not entirely sure if uh, um, okay of course you you can just start rolling the pawns here um so let's say b4 or how do we start this i but guess if we give up both the pawns can cannot be can black no no if we give both the pawns it's just a draw i think so like, like uh, king h5 b5 uh king g4 uh a4 um so king f4 e5 rook e3 and b6 is just a uh, well in yeah i think it's a draw you can obviously um, black cannot win after uh, uh 8x p6 8x p6 rook b3 because after c5 you have rook b2 yeah. um of course after b7 you can get, just give check and uh, king e3 black is never in danger here um but uh, of course you can uh, uh, you can defend this pawn somehow i uh, uh, how do we do this bishop g2 is maybe an idea yeah, but now black can play rook a5 and play rook a5 yes a5. so rook a5 uh, a4 and rook a6 um i can't get the king closer mm -hmm. to uh, c3 and uh, yeah i am not sure if this is completely drawish maybe this i mean your black's king is uh, slightly far away um the idea is of course if uh, rook b4 okay i will play a5 but maybe rook a c3 or then what if rook d3 rook d3 or like king c6 followed yeah yeah this is this this is what i want uh, i'm still not sure if that is winning uh, but at least this keeps a uh, lot of chance for example um um i don't know i mean rook d4 bishop d5 king h3 g5 and uh, it this should be winning because you have g6 bishop f7 mm -hmm. so this is uh, this is one uh, idea which uh, which seems interesting i mean it at first glance after rook a6 rook b6 it looks like completely drawish but uh, <laughs> i think it's not uh, it's not true um so this is one option and uh, another option which i was thinking is to go b4 king h3 and uh, king f3 um here i didn't like something like um rook e1 and uh, okay c5 is not possible i mean it's possible but i just take and rook e5 okay. is there so yeah this this is probably going to be fine after king f4 um i don't know maybe just king h4 yeah with the uh, g5 rook g1 is possible here still it continues you know it's not over yet because <laughs> it just continues yeah. king is yes, king is father yeah it's probably winning so uh, but maybe instead of king h4 uh, king f4 uh, might be crucial uh, as um, well black is maybe threatening rook e3 rook c3 and to have a5 kind of ideas here um, white uh white will find it a bit difficult to push these pawns i i mean it's like three pawns up and it looks like should be completely winning but i don't uh, see how how to you know have a easy uh, victory here um mm -hmm. probably b4 is the way um, but rook e3 and uh yeah because rook a3 is uh, one idea and if once rook a3 comes i don't know who will try for <laughs> advantage after that um, but uh, yeah i think king f4 should be the right way so maybe after rook e5 do we have something uh, something better uh, like uh, um 
because I wanted to play king g3, but just rook e3, so it doesn't Obviously help. B4, okay. Um, and here I go king h4. Now you tricked me maybe just with bishop d5. Oh, yeah, knight bishop. Or not. Because if you give me one chance, I will go rook e3. And then, uh, I mean, then it's, I, I'm not going to exchange the other rook. Yeah, yeah. So then it is uh, dangerous for white with uh, such an active king. So that is the reason why I don't, I don't want to allow king h4, rook e3, which can be quite dangerous. But here. before king h4, bishop d5 should be the same. Um, uh, Okay. Yeah, if rook f2, I think we uh, we reached uh, same position. Yes, king f3. So, okay, let's say that it's good chance. But what if I don't give you this chance? I guess b5 or... Maybe the key to uh, rook what rook oh, no. key to king f3 yeah yeah, yeah. rook to king f3 rook k2 still not over yeah. uh, rook f5 rook h8 uh, but maybe uh, rook f8 is uh, a better square uh, because when you move the rook from f2 I always have uh, some kind of perpetual or uh, no actually it's more than perpetual but yeah. So let's say like rook f7, I have rook e2, and if king f3 is possible. Oh, actually, it is. Yeah, king f3, king f4 is maybe winning. So um, b4, yes. Um, is there any uh, other way I can force you? Ah, but uh, now since uh, you played b4, it's very interesting, yeah. Yeah, because rook e3, then you play the same uh, rook f5 check, king h6, uh, g5, king here, and g6. But maybe this is slightly better version because with the pawn on b3, um this uh, this is better because then i stop all this a4 a5 b5 expansions so, but rook h5 rook h8 um just c5 or no c5 uh, no it's just rook yeah, i mean c5 if d takes c5 that's nice but on the other hand this might be just a draw right so we still need to be a bit careful here um yeah i think this is uh, close to draw after rook eight i mean if if, if you play rook f2 then uh, somehow it, i feel that it should be a yeah, maybe the catch rook h8 uh-huh yeah yeah the, the, i mean i i will be a little bit worried <laughs> of white's position but okay I, I cannot lose really c5 and bishop b3 is always there um so this is a bit sophisticated to play rook e5 and rook e3 but it has a point it has some point to uh, bring the rook from uh, e5 to a3 which i think is uh, nicely stopping all the pawns uh, yeah. with a4 a5 b5 and so on um but with such a position I will not go into this <laughs> whether it's it's winning or not simply because uh, this gives a lot of chances for um, black to survive here. Mm. Uh, rookie seven. Um, rookie seven is okay, but uh, I think uh, rookie five. Um, okay. Rookie five, uh, maybe. Um, is there any other move which um, black white can play apart from? Yeah, rook f3 is not, not so great because just king h4.
I mean, H4, King G4, Bishop uh, E6 could be nice, but H4, uh, Black is just going to take on H4. That's the problem. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this this is probably uh, the most critical position, um, and uh, I, I I think somehow I feel it should be a draw, uh, simply because if Black eliminates uh, C4, uh, B3, and G4, it's enough. So uh, that's that's maybe the reason why I to, I, I feel it it will be a draw. And uh, also white's position is a bit passive. Which one? Uh, also, white's position is a bit passive. Yeah, taking... yeah, yeah. If he has, if if the pawns are already uh, on a5, b5, or at least you know, like to a bit advanced, then yeah, this is good. You can uh, you can uh, you know have some sacrifice on b6 or something. But right now, and uh, he, white has to take on f7 with the bishop, right? Yeah, there is nothing else. No, rook f7 is uh, not the way. Yes, this this is the this this should be okay for black. Although I mean, black has to be careful. Obviously, it's not uh, an easy draw, but uh, it's and uh, you played bishop g5 here, right? Mm -hmm. So the point uh, here is after queen g5, uh, obviously rook g5 is not the point, but uh, bishop f7, rook f7, rook g5, king g5, uh, rook f7. So that's the trick. Um, and uh, of course, keeps uh, still chances. And you can always go back bishop f6 if needed. And there is one fine point uh, that is, um, let's say, queen. Uh, goes some random place and uh, there is ideas of uh, such a checkmate yeah. or rook h5 it doesn't matter um so he played queen d3 um probably he was uh, okay he wants to play rook e2 i guess or yeah rook e2 should yeah. be his okay. idea right and uh, bishop f4 I think from um, here on I started to misplay the position. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, the direct one does. Um, so if I if you move the bishop somewhere else, like that's not checkmate, right? Bishop f6, just rook e2, rook g5. Oh, rook e3. Huh? Rook e3 is also an option. Ah, rook e3. Uh, okay, rook e3. Um, I thought, okay, rook g5. Um, I don't know. You, you have to go here. Yeah, this is a, no, you can go there as well because initially I thought this is mid, but queen h7 is possible. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah. Um, and what happens if you play? Oh, this maybe is an idea. Can he try to take and get the same position? Small difference. I had probably not. Because uh, in the previous position, my rook was on f2. So therefore, I could not get uh, king g3. And uh, after rook f3, you always had king h4, if, you, if we compare to the previous uh, position. Yeah. And uh, yeah, here obviously with rook on f3, I go king g3 and h4 g5. This this will be bad. So we can just take a look uh, briefly. So rook e2, king g3, uh, rook a2, h4, uh, king h6. Still not sure if g5 is a good move. Maybe it's not. Um, ideally, I was I was hoping for you know somehow exchange the rooks and get h5 h6. Uh, so I will just check this once if it is winning or not um, to have h5. So let's say rook um, b2 or something. h5 rook b3 king g4. Uh, 
I mean, the, the pawn on a7 is also quite fast. That's the problem. So let's say rook b1, h6, king, uh, king h8, g6, rook g1, king f7, a5. And this is lost. G5, G, G, G7, and it is lost. Yeah. G7, yeah. G7 and it's lost. Yeah, but I mean, I, I, I probably, I, maybe I'm missing something, but uh, in general, I feel it should be winning for white in this structure. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, there is only rook f3 here. Yeah. Mm. Mm. How to stop rook e2? And that's the point. And uh, bishop. F... Uh -huh. So this is a nice trick I will just show to the audience. Maybe some more things are hanging after queen d5 check as well. But. Uh... Uh, and h4 is not so good because of rook e2. Um, yeah, h5, king g7. Oh, king h7, I don't know one of these. Yeah, this doesn't seem uh, so clear. Actually, the pawn on h3 is doing fantastic job uh, as g4 check would never happen. So it's probably not a good idea to move this. So maybe uh, rook 4 f3, if uh, I'm not blundering anything, that seems like uh, a decent yeah, decent way, decent choice uh, to continue. But what is wrong with bishop f4? It seems good, no? You are threatening to take on d6. And... I think I underestimated his chances. Uh -huh. So rook e2, yeah, that's, that should be his uh, main point. Uh, bishop takes d6. Was there anything else here apart from bishop? No, it makes sense to take on uh, d6. Rook takes f2, rook takes f2, and rook d8. Wow. So it's... <laughs> Uh, he, re uh, he really wants to capture one of the <laughs> bishops, as I can see here. And um, wait, if you move the bishop, then just rook d5, c takes d5, and queen d5 um, should be OK for uh, black. And uh, how did you play? Yeah, bishop f7 check, king h7. Still, it's, it's super complicated. Huh? Bishop G3. Yeah, I have four points, but black is starting to get that. Yes, now the, now the rook is coming uh, into play. Yeah, this is something which I I don't like it so much. Uh, but let's see. Bishop G3, Queen E4, uh, Rook F3, uh, and King H2. There is a nice mate. Uh, OK, not mate, but uh, Uh, but of course, you can play rook g2. Is this an option or it's uh... maybe queen b1? Queen what? And rook g2, queen b1. Queen b1, yeah, right. And uh, rook h1 is threatened, so this bishop should be. No, this is no, 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 no. Once uh, queen is coming, it's not a good idea. So rook f3, uh, do I have bishop on f2 and uh, bishop on d5? Nicely protecting everything. Um, rook f8, rook f7 is threatened. So bishop d5. Still so complicated. <laughs> uh, and uh, queen e2 or queen c2, yeah? Uh, I don't know. Okay, queen c2. Uh, does it help to have bishop on f2 or it doesn't matter? Like if, uh, is this an improvement or not? With the bishop on f3. Huh? What? You mean like with the bishop on f3? Yeah, yeah. Of... like uh, you had rook f2 and rook f2. 
but uh, what happens if you just leave the uh, so that you can have the bishop on f3 king on g2 and uh, everything is protected so let's say rook f3 bishop f3 wow this <laughs> no check yeah. queen uh, uh, a2 c5 queen b3 c6 and now um maybe a5 a5 uh, it's possible yes um even there is queen c yeah queen c4 is uh, the issue here but is there a check after so there is queen c2 right? queen c2 uh, so if i start with bishop e4 king g7 c7 and queen c4 and yeah that's now it's still not over but okay i can play bishop d4 but yeah, it's you no can point. take both the bishop yeah yeah it's not a point okay so rook f2 uh, should be the way rook f rook takes f2 bishop f2 and uh, queen a2 i mean it looks like it's winning but it's probably not what happens to c5 i think you got the better version than bishop on f3 because there is no queen b3 mm -hmm. right yeah so a5 c6 a4 c7 no point okay what is it a5 or maybe a5 c6 queen c2 queen c2 uh -huh. um yeah it's uh, it is slightly difficult to um, not easy to move. not easy to bring the bishop uh, somewhere nice nice square yeah. so ideally i would like to have the king on uh, h2 bishop this bishop on g2 and the bishop on g3 and to have c7 so you 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 but uh, it is uh, it is <laughs> it's probably difficult okay so let's say i play king g no king g3 queen d3 you have okay mm -hmm. yeah this is uh, this is quite tough with this queen uh, giving hundreds of checks so b4 uh, yeah here probably if you get b5 b6 b5 c5 b6 it's it 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 is much more uh, comfortable to yeah. get uh, uh, the bishop g3 bishop g2 so b4 is maybe a good idea a6 smart b5 a5 so your idea is after a takes b5 oh, uh, i mean bishop e4 check king g7 and c takes b5 but even this i wasn't so sure because of queen c queen c4 and uh, now it's it's not clear how to push the pawn right mm -hmm. yeah i don't see i don't see how uh, uh, yeah no <laughs> We need that setup with uh, bishop on g2, b6, but uh, it's extremely difficult to uh, reach that position. Uh, so he, uh, but probably he was scared uh, that he has to wait, and you know, may, I don't know what he thought, um, but um, a5 uh, definitely, you know, keeps the game going for white at least. Um, b6. A4, B7, um, I guess Queen B2. Wish Bishop on B5 would be nice. <laughs> uh, so C5. What happens if uh, you go Bishop C5? It doesn't make Bishop C6. It doesn't make any sense because you have Queen E5. And queen e4. No, it doesn't make sense. C5. 
but maybe this is already draw yes neither side can improve here after bishop c6 queen e5 bishop a4 queen e4 king g1 and uh, queen b7 bishop c2 bishop b3 can white try that um no actually uh, i uh, what i meant was bishop c6 first a3 and oh, uh, oh. bishop b5 uh, queen e5 oh, because yeah. now queen uh, e4 check but uh, also uh, let's say I, if we reached an, and the king i guess g1 right mm -hmm. king g1 uh, queen b7 bishop c2 i don't know some king g6 and bishop d3 um I think in a practical game, uh, white should be winning, <laughs> but uh, with uh, engine probably not, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> because uh, um, I don't know where to keep this king. But let's say uh, most likely something like this we 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 are going to uh, mm -hmm. reach, and I stay with queen on f4, c5, mm -hmm. and okay, let's say white to play, and uh, I don't know if I go king g7 or h7 because whenever you go c6 uh, black mm -hmm. has uh, queen c1 and, and uh, how is bishop g2 which one bishop g2 bishop g2 uh, so i should have gone queen c1 before you went uh, bishop g2 i think yeah that, that's what i should do no i should not give you the chance of uh, having bishop g2 right um and okay if king king g2 then uh, it's extremely queen. difficult so let's say queen so whichever uh, <laughs> wherever the king is uh, black is going to you know pin that uh, pin that bishop and then it is hard for this pawn to move forward um i don't know you were playing in seconds or something i mean when i think i had enough time you had enough time and the black must be in time pressure i think so okay yeah so also instead of queen takes b7 there is intermediate queen b1 oh right of course mm, yeah uh, and this right yeah or maybe when queen b2 is possible yeah queen b2 is Ah, this is also maybe possible, but okay. Yeah, it's uh, firstly bishop c6 a3 is uh, is possible after bishop b5 queen e5 is uh, is the problem. So you went for c5 uh, now a3 uh, c6. Uh, of course, a2 uh, is just lost. Okay, maybe lost. Uh, so what did he play? Queen e5. Uh, how to improve now? So if you go king g1, you can give queen a1 check. Queen a1 check, king g1, uh, king h2. Queen b2. Queen b2, right. Still there is bishop g2. Bishop g2. because uh, this can be quite tricky <laughs> no maybe not this because then uh, you have some just this a1 oh. queen and b8 queen so now we get this uh, <laughs> nice yeah. position with yeah. the bishops but still i'm not sure if uh, white is winning because still you know that same uh, queen c2 and so on will happen mm -hmm. so i guess th this is what i'm talking about uh, uh, like I guess you will get something like this. And now, okay, if you get the bishop somewhere to b7 and king on h3, it's winning. But uh, I don't know how how do we do that. So uh, king g7, h4. Uh, yeah. This may be winning. Yeah, this may be uh, is winning, right? Because I go h5, king h3, and then uh, move the bishop to f3, g5, and so on. Because somehow all these squares are controlled. Oh, yeah. um, so what happens to bishop g... Uh, no, not bishop g2. Where uh, mm -hmm. king g1? Mm -hmm. 
queen d5 is obviously lost and what's uh, what is uh, white's threat that is something which i am also thinking mm -hmm. um uh, let's say i go i move the king for example i need the bishop on g3 so how do how do i get it because bishop e4 you have a2 yeah maybe uh, uh, black should not uh, go for this um, queen a1 check and uh, queen uh, give this option of uh, getting bishop g g3 uh, like we saw here so after king g1 maybe just uh, black waits and now i i do not know how and now white is the one who has to make yeah now white doesn't have any <laughs> kind of move because uh, yeah actually um yeah so and what did you play bishop a2 okay so uh, obviously now um, black can't capture anything uh, unless we check so queen e4 king g1 and queen f4 yeah this is uh, the problem no wait uh, yeah you can't get the bishop to g3 so that's uh, that's the issue king g2 and Uh -huh. okay so it's uh, just perpetual right and uh, there are some positions with uh, queen versus queen uh, h and g uh, which are drawn probably i don't know if you have seen this game between nepomnia shianand or something like that so the position which i mean is uh, let's say i'm going to uh, you know like so something like this is a draw oh it's a draw okay yeah i think it's a draw <laughs> i don't know if the pawns if there is some difference with the pawns but this is a draw okay if white manages to get queen f3 h4 king h3 is it still a draw yeah that is also a draw oh okay uh but i i forgot what is the right way because uh, at some point uh, white has white white cannot uh, escape the perpetual check um, but uh, i i forgot the game but uh, i i remember the there was a game with uh, these two pawns uh, and queen was a draw so okay. but okay in this position we are not reaching because uh, he's going to just repeat uh, queen uh, e3 and queen h6 so it's it's simple perpetual uh, so uh, very nice game actually okay you drew this game it's a, it's slight it is a bit pity i understand after a lot of sacrifices uh, but uh, i really enjoyed uh, analyzing this game with you uh, here probably there should be something better uh, way to finish him off uh, if somewhere here because you had nice uh, uh, nice grip on the position and then suddenly his uh, rook, st rook started to uh, you know come out, come out and uh, create some problems um, and probably the end game after uh, rook f uh, rook f3 maybe uh, uh, is, uh, sorry bishop d bishop d5 queen yeah, yeah yeah here here uh, rook 5f3 may be uh, a chance i um of course i can be uh, you know uh, misevaluating the end game because uh, it's too many moves after this uh, long end game which we saw uh, but this gives a good chance and of course it is it is black who has to find all these uh, moves in order to defend the position so that's uh, that's all uh, for today's uh, uh, today's uh, lesson or class whatever you call uh, so uh, wh where are you playing next
I'm not really sure. No, no, online uh, tournaments or something. Online, or... I just said it's title to the title living. Okay, okay, okay. But you, you are following all the online uh, yes, tournaments and uh, champions. Yes. Okay, great. So that's all, uh, guys. Uh, I hope uh, uh, you enjoyed uh, analyzing. And uh, yeah, it's very interesting game. And uh, I wish that uh, you play more such games and uh, and uh, all the best for your future. And uh, yeah, you too. thank you. Thank you. And thank you for having me here today. Thank you. Thank you so much.